Uh, to the last credit here, coming to you guys with a after show of the, uh, the after show of an award show with the Golden Globes. Um, I'm Darren Lizzie Jr., I'll be your host, and this is going to be a really candid conversation. I'm also here with, uh, Miller Farrow. Miller, how you doing? Good. And Dylan Boyd. Dylan, how you doing? Uh, all right. <laughs> all right, so this is just going to be a candid conversation, a little short review of our thoughts on the Golden Globe ceremony that took place tonight. Um, it was the 75th Awards, and, uh, personally, I thought it was a really fun show. Um, it had a lot of great, uh... A lot of great speeches, a lot of great beautiful speeches, um, and uh, I like how they're really representing women and you know the struggles that they went through um, this year, a lot of the actresses. So it was just a really good show that really balanced um, politics and just the fun of it all and actually giving some really inspired speeches. Uh, and Dylan, what did you think about, like, just a short thought before we go on through some other things, what did you think about the show in general? Uh, it was good. Uh, Seth Meyers was a great host uh, and his monologue was incredible um it was i I can say it was was definitely a lot better than last year when uh jimmy fallon hosted um it seemed but it seemed like it seemed like at times uh like they hired like the like this extraordinary writer for seth meyers and then for all like the celebrities that came out presented that they just got some guy off the street to write jokes for them because they were really awkward but um yeah the show in general it was uh it was pretty fun and like i said a lot better than last year so that's good enough <laughs> and miller some general thoughts on the golden globes like what do you think about the show overall and that was a good show it moved uh which is nice for an award show, and Seth Meyers, I think he, I, I, don't, I think he could be more animated. Like, he's just, like, stilted when uh, he's delivering, but his delivery... Yeah, he seemed, seemed kind of nervous at times. Yeah, but, um, like, what he was, like, what Dylan was saying, what he was saying was really uh, funny, and it, it seemed like they had a really smart person writing his, uh, really smart people writing his uh, lines. Yeah, and I like his back. Like just going going forward with uh, Seth Meyers, I liked his back and forth with Amy Poehler. I'm really glad they they snuck that in there because if you ever watch Saturday Night Live, some of the his most best moments when he was hosting. Uh, what was it last week? To no, nah, no. Uh, what what is it? What was his little segment? If anybody knows off the top of the head, I don't know. I don't want to know. SNL is super cringy, so I don't um, watch Um, I can't remember. it. But yeah, whenever he did the uh, the news thing, the news thing, his back and forth with Amy Poehler was um, always fun. Oh, weekend update. <clears throat> yeah, weekend weekend update. And I, I thought they were gonna do like a TNFA Amy Poehler thing with Seth, but that didn't happen. But yeah, his monologue was fucking. It was brutal and it was funny. It was that whole entire thing with with Harvey Weinstein, where he's just like, "In memoriam, you were going to be booed," and I was like. Good job, man. Good job. Uh, so I didn't really like the whole entire. And then they brought though... out Kurt Douglas, a fucking rapist, and gave him standing ovation. <laughs> Kurt Douglas is a rapist. Yeah. Oh, do not. That was weird that Michael Douglas wasn't there. Um. Yeah, Unless be... he was using his Ant Man powers. <laughs> but uh. Yeah. Um. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah, the whole entire, like, your take thing or whatever they, like, the setup payoff or whatever that was, um, that's the only joke that, that, I mean, even though I like the Amy Poehler segment, I was just like, that's not funny. But, um. You're talking about the Amy Poehler one? No, no, I like the Amy Poehler one because of just how she delivered it, but everything else, I mean, some of, it's just, it was just kind of weird how they. The Kevin Spacey one was great. Yeah, yeah. And I like, I like the three projects. I didn't didn't like the Amy Poehler one. I didn't really. What was the Kevin Spacey one? It the was... one where he said, uh, he said, call me by your name, it's a gay coming of age story. Right. And Billy Eigner said, uh, which is something, something about Kevin Spacey and uh, hitting the coming of age thing. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. I saw someone on Twitter say that we're we're now in a time where Tommy was said was more respected actor than Kevin Spacey. And I thought that was funny. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I, I really liked his speech. And just Seth Myers, I, me, me, me and Mel were talking earlier uh before we started and he, uh, Miller said he brought him um they brought uh Seth out uh they used him sparingly but every single time he came on stage he really hit it to me so yeah I thought he was a just a really great host he kept the show going and he was really funny it was very very funny 
Uh, but moving on to um, some of the speeches, like, did you guys have a favorite speech uh, by uh, any of the actors? Or, like, did you I, guys have a sp- uh, favorite speech or a standout moment of the night? I like James Franco's speech. I thought that was really unique. Yeah, I thought um, it was very heartfelt. Like, and especially... And I, like, I, don't, I don't think he was intentionally, like, being mean to Tommy Wiseau by... by uh, well, he, I, I think he thought that Tommy was Tommy was that would have time to speak, and then he didn't. Yeah, and then he because I think he realized and he realized that Tommy was so if when Tommy was so was going to get that mic, he wasn't going to stop. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and I think it was just. I mean, it's a very gentle push away, but I like. I also like Seth Rogen's speech. Yeah, even though it was a little you know punchy punchy, but you know he's right. <laughs> yeah, Seth room. Rogen's was surprising. Like I'm just like he he's laying it all out. Yeah, there. but I mean the room does suck, but like, he is here. He but, was right. Yeah, like it's truthful. Yeah, yeah Seth Rogen was just like, hey. He's right there, the guy who made the worst movie ever. He's he's sitting in the Golden Globes audience, like that's fucking crazy. And I liked how he pulled his uh, uh, James Franco pulled his brother up. Uh, that was great, and it was just very heartfelt. Um, I liked Oprah's speech, fucking nailed it. Great. She, her speech, like uh, Dylan messaged me, he was just like, Oprah's about to go hunt down um, uh, Harvey Weinstein. Uh, like that was <laughs> it made such a great speech, so inspiring. Uh, did you, Dylan, did you did you have a standout one? Uh, there was, James Franco's was, was really good, and there was, there was one person, I mean, Oprah's was fantastic, and then there was one person that, uh, oh, oh Greta Jarrett, Greta Jarrett's speech was, speech was so, she was so passionate, and, uh, felt like it was really coming from the heart, and I was, yeah, it was fantastic. Yeah, just give me one second to, oh yeah, um, Gilmo Del Toro's speech as well. Oh yeah, yeah like, Gilmore yeah. Dottoro, Sam Rockwell's, uh, like you said, heartfelt. Those were very, very. You just felt like they, you felt like they were just standing up there, like I earned this. Like thank you, thank, 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 thank you. Uh, so that was that was good. Um, and some of the winners. So what were some of the surprise? If you guys don't know, we were keeping a tally. I won. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Oscars. So I have eight. Yes. He doesn't even give a shit about the Golden Globes. I don't give a shit about the Golden Globes, and I still won, bitches. Let the record hold that I would win if we were including TV2. But guess what, Miller? We did it! Ah! But, um, anyway. Um, Wait, how do you have eight? I have eight, because the score. <laughs> yeah, but you said we had seven before. What, what were you missing? I was missing one of them. Hold on. And the post didn't, didn't win anything. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah post. didn't win anything, even though you haven't seen the movie to judge. I know. I'm just, I'm just fucking around. I'm just no, I didn't count. Like I didn't count in um Andre Desplat. Oh, okay. Uh, which thank you that he won because that score is incredible. Um, I am seeing the post next week, though. I am seeing the post I'm next week judging. and the Phantom Thread next week. So that's gonna. It's gonna Phantom called by your name next Phantom week. Thread. Ah, it is called the Phantom, Phantom Thread. No, it's the Phantom Thread. It's just Phantom Thread. You just said... Yeah, it's Phantom Thread. Hold on. Let me use my friend Google real quick before we get back into... Uh, yeah, we're not wrong, Darren. Yeah, oh, it's yeah? Phantom Thread. Oh, yeah, because look, it says right here it's called Phantom Thread. Anyway, let's get back into it, shall we? Uh, so, yeah, what were some of the surprises for you guys with some of the winners? Or were you guys satisfied with some of the winners? Um, uh, biggest surprise by far was three billboards winning best motion picture drama. Um, that yeah, was... I said that in my predictions, but as like as the night was going on and like what I've been seeing online, I'm like it's gonna be a shape of water. Because the gold globes usually don't like to uh, to um, or maybe I'm just remembering it wrong, but they usually don't like to separate director and best picture. Yeah, and uh, so that was. I I just when that happened, uh, I I was sitting I was sitting next to my sister and I was like shape of water shape of water shape of water. I just I knew I knew it was fucking gonna be shape of water. I mean it won best score, won best director. I I was absolutely fucking sure it was going to be shape of water. And then and if it wasn't shape of water, I thought it was gonna be called call me by same name. here. I, when I and, when. It, when they announced it, I was just like, I was just like, okay, they're doing that. I looked back at my sheet where we wrote down all our winners, and I was just like, oh, Dylan, this is your award to win. And I just sat down on my bed, just like, okay, they're going to say Shape of Water. Three billboards. What? Yeah, they they said three billboards, and I, I looked at my sister, and I went, whoa. <laughs> okay. Uh, three billboards. I was, 
I was absolutely fucking shocked. Uh, I never, I never would have predicted that. Uh, but, and then, oh yeah, uh, we were arguing about this in the chat, but Gary Oldman, that was surprising to me. That was not surprising um, to me. He's going to get that Oscar. Fucking, He's going apparently, the Oscar. only fucking What's people it was not surprising to was YouTube because everyone else on the internet thought it was go. Uh, thought it was Daniel Day Lewis's Oscar. I mean, fucking go. I, I I haven't seen any. I I I mainly yeah. I've mostly seen Timothy Chalamet or get or Gary Oldman. Yeah, because people only saw Phantom Thread like two weeks ago, three weeks ago. Well, they saw it enough for the in time for the Gold Globes, but. right? But yeah, but, Gary Oldman was leading the conversation. Making the splash, the people. I'm not saying he wasn't in the conversation. No, I'm just saying that. It. Like that's what, what? I said. He was leading it, not. I I, I I saw nothing that would lead me to uh, to think that Gary Old, Gary Oldman was leading the race. Honestly, I thought he was fucking last. Well, he he said some he said some comments about. The Hollywood Foreign Press uh, several a few years ago, so people thought that was going to hurt their chances. But what do you gotta, say? I don't. I can't. Like he insulted them, but I, I can't oh. remember exactly how exactly what he said. Good man. Um, but yeah, I <laughs> thought that was Daniel Day Lewis's going globe all the way, but that didn't happen. Can I just say Daniel Day Lewis looks really scary with the shaved head? You no know one else. Yeah, yeah. he looks like and, he would. And, and the earring. Yeah, he looks like he would. He looks like a Bond villain or something. He looks like he would beat the shit out of you. That's his, that's gonna be his actual final role, the Bond villain and Daniel Craig's final one. What do you and mean he didn't like? What do you mean he didn't like my suit, Bond? He's just gonna be a I guy think, with a uh, family thread. This one, this one, what I, I don't know. I, I guess I was the the person that won was my second was was my like runner up or whatever. But I guess I was like I was absolutely positively fucking sure. That Willem Dafoe, that, that, that Willem Dafoe was going to win, and that, and uh, Sam Rockwell won. I was, I, mean, I was really happy for Sam Rockwell. I haven't even seen the Ford Project, because, but uh, Sam Rockwell is incredible in Three Billboards. But I was one hundred percent positive that Willem Dafoe was going. Well, it I seemed like they. Um, I don't know if this has anything to do with it or Sam Rockwell will just win the SAG and the Oscar, but it seems like like the Golden Globes obviously really liked. Three billboards, so I'm not sure if that had anything to do with it. Where okay. it won't do as well in like the SAG or the Oscars. But we'll see. Yeah, but I mean, it, it could be just like last year when Aaron Taylor Johnson won for uh, for at the Golden Globes, and then he didn't even get fucking nominated at the Oscars. So. Yeah. We didn't get nominated for the SAG either. So that, that I honestly think that's the only reason Aaron Taylor Johnson did not get nominated for an Oscar is because of the SAG awards. <laughs> And, um, yeah, those are the surprises for me. And Miller, um, just you know, because you're more of the TV guy, is there anything else? Is there anything you want to cover in TV? Like you want to talk about in TV? Um, no, I wanted Kyle McLaughlin to win. Um, but uh, not to say Ewan McGregor wasn't great because he wasn't totally deserves it. But TV, everything I expected, and um. Not that I don't think it's deserving of anything, but I'm I'm really I'm getting really tired of seeing uh, Big Little Eyes win awards. Me too. Like I'm glad we're I'm glad we're out of this at least for the this season. I'm I'm not because that was an amazing show. It is an amazing show, but it's just like a, like after because like you have Nicole Kidman get up and then Nicole Kidman produced the show, so she gets up and talks again. It's just. Oh my gosh! Something that's deserving keeps getting awards. Oh Fuck, I think no. It's not- Saying it's not deserved or it doesn't shouldn't get a award. I'm just saying I'm I'm. Getting, it's like, like when I'm Mad Max Fury Road kept winning in 2015, oh, and you kept no. hearing the music over and over. Oh again. no, we get to hear Junkie like, XL that's, 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 score multiple times. Got, oh I, no, I thought, Aaron, shut the fuck up. <laughs> um, that got me excited because I thought I thought uh, Mad Max was going to do. But yeah, I totally think. Uh, Big Little Eyes deserve everything it got. I'm just, I'm just glad we're out of this, where we don't have to see it win every award. Oh no! I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm gonna beat your fucking face. <laughs> um, but the film, for the most part, I, I mean, like I said, Three Billboards was surprising as the night went on. Even though I said that before, um, 
Allison Janney and Sam Rockwell were things that I, right. I was, everyone was, everyone was against me. I was so fucking. There were a lot of people. I saw a lot of predictions online saying that Allison Janney was going to. Well, win. I'm talking about you two. Oh, I mean, you, Miller, can when, we I said, when I said Allison Janney the other day, you went, "What the fuck?" Can you explain <laughs> I was, why? I, I was surprised, and then I I started reading online. It's like, oh, people agree with Dylan. Okay. Yeah, because my thing with Allison Janney, I'm I'm not, look. I saw Itania. Itania's a great movie, and Allison Janney's Janney's performance is great. It's just compare it because I wanted me and Miller wanted Lori Metcalf to win, and it's comparing the two because I'm not, I'm not trying to say like neither of them great gave a great performance as they did, but just comparing the two, I've, just, I've seen what Alice and Janie is doing a lot. I've seen that role. Yeah. I've seen that performance of a really shitty mother, uh, a really just this really attitude like attitude driven mother i've seen that a lot and with Lori medcalf it was just more layers and more of what she was doing and just that relationship with ladybird it was just it was it felt it felt more unique and just more fresh compared to what Lori medcalf was doing which was still great so that's why i kind of wanted Lori medcalf to get the the award but you know i mean alice and janey got it and uh, great for her but yeah i just wanted because it's just like Lori medcalf was just so 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 good um, that's who I would would give the award to um, over over her. And Miller, did you have anything else to follow up? Oh yeah, the Allison Danny winning is my same thing with uh, Francis McDormand winning. Is I think Francis McDormand is great in three billboards, but I think it's a performance we've seen a lot. Yeah, and um, I and think I- Kelly Hopkins was just more unique, and she had to. She had to show a lot of rain. Oh yeah, Sally Hawkins. Yeah, that was because that was my choice, and she said a lot without actually saying anything. So that that was my choice. I still want her to get that Oscar because me, she's so fucking good. Like she's fantastic in Shape of Water, magical. That everything about the movie is magical. And I just and just going back to the the television, I just wanted yeah, Andre, um, not Andre, Aziz. Um, I'm sorry, not not Aziz. I'm sorry, Anthony Anderson. I just want I kind of mm-hmm. wanted him to win just to hear what he would say. I really has he ever, just, you said what? Has he ever won before? I'm not sure. I, I liked his reaction to hearing yes. his name being called. Oh, that was funny. Yeah, because that, that's why I wanted to kind of hear what he was. Like, yes, yes. I wanted to hear what he I thought. Say. I thought everyone was going to do it for a second. <laughs> like, because he's, he's, I'm sorry, looked really, was really happy when he saw Anthony Anderson doing that reaction. I was like, just do it. Just do it too. Oh, you mean like each each nominee? Everyone would be like, yeah. Oh, that'd be good. That would, that would have been fun, but yeah, that was it was a it was a fun show. So closing up shop. Um, anything else, like Dylan? Anything else you have to say on the Golden Globes before we um, sign off? Um, yeah, uh, this was uh, this is kind of been a bit a bit controversial on Twitter, um, but the joke Natalie Portman made about all the directors being male pissed me off. Um, I don't I don't think it's necessarily what she said. But the timing of it and how she said it, uh, I think it would have been much better if Seth Meyers, when he was bringing out Natalie Portman and Ron Howard, if he said something like, you know, now here to present uh, Best Director to the all-male nominees or something like that. And it kind of came off as funnier, huh? I do, yeah. Uh, Yeah. I think that would have came off as funnier than – and the way Natalie Portman said it, it sounded – very distasteful and very disrespectful, and it just really pissed me off. I don't think it was disrespectful or distasteful at all, because I think it's something that needs to... I mean, this entire night is I mean, just it's about... true. It's so. true. That's the thing. Like, it's it's true. I, I, mean, I, 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 can, I mean, I understand your thing with the timing and everything, but it is, it's true. Like, it just needs to be said. And I think all the directors sitting down, they, they understand. Like, it's not taking away from the moment or anything. They understand what she's saying, and they, they understand that it's true. Like, when um, Susan Sarandon came out, like, like, I mean, just for me, hearing these things, like, over the past year, or just any time, when you hear things like, one woman was nominated for a Golden Globe in 75 years, or, you know, this is the first black director nominated in so-and-so years. Or this is the first... Like, that's weird. Like, that shouldn't be the case. And her saying that, it's just... It's a it's a harsh truth, but it is. So I don't think it's taking away from those directors. It's just something that needs to be said. And hopefully, 
her saying that can change things. Yeah, but I'm not me. saying it's something that doesn't need I'm, to be oh, said. Oh, I'm not saying you are saying that. Yeah, 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 I'm, I'm not saying you are saying that. I mean, I understand important. your points. I understand your points, Dylan, but I'm just saying with that didn't like throw me off at all. It's just it just needs it needs to be said. So, um, but any anything else uh, you want to throw out or? I thought. Um, oh, are you talking about Dylan or? Yeah, I'm talking about Dylan. I'm sorry. I was just what you got. No, I was thinking. So. Well, yeah, I thought Florida Project was going to be the movie. I got tired of seeing this award season, but turns out it's the awards. I thought you were about to say. Turns out it's the TV show called Big Little Lies. No, uh, we're done with Big Little Lies. So oh, actually, no. actually, we, actually, we got the second one. <laughs> so, best actor and best actress. Uh, who do you guys think is leading? Um, I still think. Um, hold on one second. Sorry, I still think Gary Old- Gary Oldman is my guy running running um, all the way. It's Gary Oldman and, versus James Franco. Um, yeah, and Gary. with best actress, it's Sally Hawkins. All the hands down, all the way. Until look, it might change. Right the personal, post. Her, not still, personal. How do you still think Sally Hawkins is leading? Because Sally Hawkins, um, I don't care if it's not personal. I think she gives the best performance. I think she gives the best performance. We're talking about what you think is going to win. I think not Sally Hawkins is going to win going forward. Okay. That's what I'm saying. I don't okay. care if it's not That's whether different. whether or not it's personal or not. I think it is. Sally we were Hawkins. just making sure you weren't saying. Okay, no. yeah, I think it is Sally Hawkins. I, I, look, I need still need to see the post. Because um, Meryl Streep is definitely going to be up there. And, like, Dylan's seeing the post this week. I'm seeing the post this week. I, I'm pretty sure you're seeing the post this week, too, Miller. Next week, time. Don't tell me what to do. Okay, never mind. Dylan Miller's not seeing the yes, post. Yes, I will be seeing. No, no, you're not. No, you're I'm not. I'm seeing it next Tuesday. I'm seeing Molly's game tomorrow. Or yeah, but uh, I still think I still think it's Sally Hawkins' um, game to play. I, yeah, I don't, I don't think that at all. <laughs> What do you think? I mean, you? it's I I feel like it's it's pretty much uh, I feel like it's Cersei Ronan's honestly. Um, oh right about, yeah, I'm, I'm, that is true. You're right about that because yeah, it because seems the, like the way it's, the it seems like works. it's Frances McDormand versus uh, Sally Hawkins. We'll we'll probably have uh, more of an idea because um, the Baptists and stuff that comes out on. Um, Tuesday or whatever, and we might have more an idea when you know things start to play out. What are, does anybody well, know when the Oscar noms are? Um, like January twenty something. Okay, so we'll know in a few weeks. But that you're you're right because I forgot the Golden Globes are weird. So yeah, so it is going to be Sally. Haw- it's going to be Sally Hawkins versus McDormand versus Ronan. I think, it's, I, think it's, I think it's Sorcerer Romans. Yeah. I feel like it is too. I don't. I don't know why, but I just have that feeling that. I'm still going to give to Hawkins, but. Yeah. And then best, Gary best, best actor. Um, <laughs> fuck you guys. Honestly, I I still think it's Daniel Day Lewis versus James Franco. I I don't I don't think that Gary Oldman has any chance at the Oscar. <laughs> Any chance? Any chance? You see that movie? Go see the movie. I really, I, really just, I don't even think he should win. It's, it's not that I'm. It's not that I'm not excited for Darkest Hour, or that, that I'm not. Ex- or that I don't. Be. That I think Gary Oldman gives a bad performance. I just I I don't think that uh, that, that he's that he's gonna um, that he's gonna win. Um, I but... think Oldman has the up the the edge over James Franco, and I think it. I just don't think the momentum's there for Daniel Day Lewis, weirdly enough. Uh, well, if if I was gonna say like you know, uh, okay, mm-hmm. ain't I, I, enough. I, I want I want James Franco to win, but uh, I know he wasn't eligible. Though. Mm, yeah, I, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say right now that I'm I'm going with James Franco for the Oscar right now. All right. Oh no! And you said best actress is is Ronan. Source Ronan. Okay. Yeah, good. Yeah. All right. So I'm still going with I'm still going with Hawkins and uh, uh, Oldman. So anything else for you guys on the Golden Globes? Are we done? Are we staying here? Or uh, what about um, what about best picture? You guys got any predictions as? To- um. 
lady. No, no. I, I got um, <laughs> I mean, I know. I, no, I feel like I don't. I don't think it's going to be three billboards. No, I don't think it is either. And I don't think it. I don't think Get Out is. I don't think Get Out has momentum now. Yeah, Get Out. Yeah, Get Out did definitely does not have the momentum now. But, but I think it's Lady Bird. Um, Greta for, Gerling so will get second, best when best. they were when they were announcing uh, best best comedy or best picture comedy or whatever. Uh, it, I just, yeah, it started to slip into my mind the possibility of Get Out winning, and I was like, oh shit, yeah. And then she said Lady Bird. I was like, oh thank God. I don't think Get Out is out of the game at all, but. I don't. I don't think, think it's out of the game, but I think it, it's by not doing anything at the Golden Globe. It's, it's the Golden Globes. Darren, shut the fuck up, Darren. <laughs> but yeah, I don't think it's out at all. But we'll no, see. it's not out. But, but I, I mean, I can't really say it's so... a picture nomination. But I, I don't think it, it, it doesn't stand any chance. I don't think. It. I don't think I can really say until I actually see the nominations for the Oscars. So I mean, we pretty much have an idea what they're going to be. So yeah. No, I don't think so. Because I, I still think, like, when we get those nominations, I think still think there's going to be something that we never saw coming. Because I think they're going to use all ten nominations, and we're going to see something that's going to be like, But oh. even if there's something in Best Picture that we don't see coming, it's not going to be something that'll win. True, true. But I still just want to stack my cards when I see the actual names. Mm-hmm. But right now... Um... Right now, I'm gonna say uh, I'm sticking with Straight Water for Best Picture right now. I can see that happen. I think I think it definitely because I, I I don't I don't I don't really think that I don't think that Three Billboards is going to do all that much at the Oscars, uh, and then Lady Bird would probably be what I would say would be the the runner up. Um, so I, I'm I can see the Lady Bird. Oh, go ahead. I was just saying I'm going to go with either you know Shape of Water and then Runner Up being Lady Bird. I can see Lady Bird, like Shape of Water, didn't get a tag ensemble though, which is oh yeah, but I uh, didn't. Perfect. Oh wait, no, La La Land. Yeah, La La Land lost. <laughs> so I can see I can see it being like last year where Shape of Water gets Best Director and Lady Bird gets Best Picture. <laughs> So, yeah. Then maybe Get Out gets best. I uh, didn't. But uh, fucking Hidden Figures won the SAG Ensemble Award last year, so I yeah. mean that doesn't matter all that much. No, but the nomination—that's the important part. Yeah. Not the not what wins. But still, it was Hidden Figures. <laughs> it got nominated for Best Picture. Yeah, yeah, but it's Hidden Figures. Yeah, but but I'm well. What I'm saying is that Hidden Figures. Winning it obvious, it very obviously stood no chance in the best picture category. No, I mean, but no, but people. The thing is, people say the nomination is important enough. Yeah, I, so, I remember people actually thought like, "Is will Hidden Figures pull off a best picture update?" I'm like, "Come on, people!" <laughs> but yeah, okay. So wrapping it all up, uh, yeah, the Golden Globes. They were a lot of fun. They were a fun show. Uh, oh, what the hell? Okay, sorry, I'm looking at something else. But, um, yeah, Golden Globes were a fun show, um, and we're looking forward to the with the rest of the award season. And I think Dylan, I mean, Miller, didn't you say the BAFTAs, they're going to be announced on Tuesday? Yeah, the nomination's on Tuesday, and then I think the SAG Awards are at the end of the month. All right, so, yeah, we'll be looking forward to that. Uh, we're going to be back with another after show, I'm guessing, for the Oscars. Are we doing uh, anything else for anything else? Yeah, obviously. <laughs> okay, yeah. So, yeah, we'll be back for the Oscars. Maybe something in between, but definitely the Oscars. Yeah. All right, so we'll back, be back for the Oscars on March 4th, and we're going to have a few th- more things to talk about in January. It's kind of slow because nothing's really coming out, so we'll find some shit. But, um, yeah, so with all that being said, uh, Dylan, where can we find you? At OG underscore MDB on Twitter. Uh, Miller, where can we find you? At Miller for our own Twitter. And you guys can find me at Darren Lacey Jr.'s Reviews and at Darren Lacey Jr. on Twitter. And we'll catch you guys next time.